How's it going everybody? This is Beat the Bush. Today I'm going to show you how to make an instant pho with fresh ingredients that only cost less than $2. This video is brought to you by Moomoo. Don't forget to sign up for this stock trading app. You can get up to 15 free shares just for signing up and depositing various amounts of money. Check out my referral link down in the video description below. I like pho a lot, but the prices at restaurants has gotten really, really ridiculous. About $15 to $17 per bowl by the time you walk out the door and pay tip and everything. So you can't really go out and eat pho every single day. So I thought long and hard, what if we can make an instant pho? Not the kind that you get at Costco where it tastes just like very salty MSG and you barely get any noodles. There's no meat in it or anything. What if you can make your own instant pho? You never have to like wait around two hours and make the broth or anything. You make an instant broth, instant noodle, and the beef is instant, everything is instant. That's what I'm gonna show you today. Before we actually do the cooking, because it's not gonna take all that long, I have to talk about the rice noodle, the traditional kind that you buy. It's a little bit expensive, and the dry ones takes a little bit too long to cook, about 10 minutes or so. So what you wanna do is cheat a little bit, get rice noodle that it's a bit thinner, and if you look at the instructions, it should say it only takes about three minutes to cook or so. Another hack that's required is you get some ground beef. This is really cheap. This whole pack cost me about $5. So if you use only about four ounces of it, which is traditionally about the size of a hamburger. So I highly recommend you to use fresh beef, never frozen one, and it tastes a lot better. If you think eating ground beef in your pho is a little weird, you want slices of beef, then yeah, okay, get some eye of round, which is relatively cheap type of meat as well. And you have to have them sliced very, very thin and you can do roughly the same thing. The main thing I love about pho is the rice noodle and the beefy flavor that goes with the rice noodle when you slurp it up, along with this tartness from the lime. So having lime is absolutely necessary. Having beef flavor is absolutely necessary and having some kind of rice noodle is very needed. So this is not gonna be exactly pho. If you're expecting you know, something that looks just like pho, it's not gonna be like that, but it will kind of satisfy your urge to get pho. Plus it's gonna cost only $2. I have half of a star anise. This is one clove, but you can use half of it if you don't want it to be as spicy. And this is a tiny piece of cinnamon. You can definitely use ground powder of star anise cinnamon. You don't exactly have to follow the recipe exactly, but I'd say the most critical would be the star anise. This is very critical to have to have the flavor. You can add other things like cardamom, coriander, but not necessary. When you're trying to do an instant one, you just want a close approximation of pho flavor. I'm also gonna be putting in some onion powder. If you don't have onion powder, slice a little bit of fresh onion in there. That's also just as good. You actually don't need to grind this. This might take a little bit too long for most people. Just use the ground version of these things, but I'm just gonna pound them up myself. This is a brand new toothbrush. I'm only using it for spices. It's not a used toothbrush or anything. And then I would add about that much onion powder. We're gonna cook the rice stick noodles first. About three cups of water. In another pot, add two cups of water. This is basically the broth that you're gonna use in your pho. Now we start with clear water. We put all that in there. I got some Red Boat dish sauce. This will add the saltiness to it. So about one tablespoon of fish sauce in there. This will make it salty. I got some sesame oil. I'll put a little bit of that in there. This is your instant broth. There's no savory flavor right here for now. That's gonna be added by the ground beef that we're gonna add right here. We're gonna portion out a little bit of ground beef. If you want more beef, you add more. You can use as little as I'd say three or four ounces. Right now it's four ounces. Split them apart so that they're like little morsels of it. So then it can cook very easily. And you need to pre-do this. You don't wanna like do this right into the soup because then some of the morsels get cooked longer than others. You wanna do this all on a separate plate and then dump it into the broth all at once. Now that would be finished prepped. This lime probably costs a quarter to 50 cents each. You need about a third of it. I like to add a lot of lime to mine, maybe a quarter. So 
like let's say that's like one third of the lime right just use this so now we got the boiling water and then we put in one pack of the rice stick noodle here and you boil this for three minutes whatever the package says you let that cook kind of agitate it a little bit just make sure it gets cooked evenly while that is cooking we're gonna add in some basil I think basil is somewhat important. You don't absolutely have it, but it really does make a lot of nice smell come out. I'm going to pre-prep this by pulling out all the, all the leaves. You probably need to wash this, so I'm going to wash it after I prep it. It's not quite exactly pho noodle, but just in my defense, when you make instant pho from like Costco, they also use very thin noodles like this, but at least it's rice stick noodle. My timer says 10 more seconds left, and then we can remove this from the heat. Blanch it with cold water just for a few seconds, just for a little bit. So then it stops the cooking. That's good enough. You want to do it for a very short time so that the noodles are still warm. Because if you make it too cold, it makes it so that your soup noodle is not as hot. So just only do it for a little bit. Just put it in your bowl. We can also put the basil in our bowl like that. It's coming to a boil. So we have our raw beef. Just put it all in there all at once. Toss it around. Turn off the heat immediately. You only want to blanch the meat a little bit so they stay tender. And then right immediately after that, the water, try to keep the meat from going in there first and then mix the noodle a little bit. And then put your meat kind of on the side. You can see that's like, it's kind of rare right there. Some of it's a little rare still. You want it like that. It tastes good like that. It tastes more tender that way. And you can see the soup has turned into this dark brown color. This is very beefy flavor. It's very good. And then we have the lime that we had from before. We squeeze it over. Oh yeah, lots of lime flavor here. This is what makes it taste like pho, the, the tart lime flavor. So here is the bowl. Let me give it a taste. I don't even have time to set up the camera on the living room table. Mm, on the dining table, I mean. Real lime. And then you have the, the ground beef over here. When you just blanch it a little bit, it tastes super tender. Like, like a grilled burger, but the center that is medium rare, it tastes like that. The nice beefy flavor. Now, I never made a broth, right? But yet here we are, a beefy broth to go with your rice noodle. So much like real pho. Mm. And then you got your basil. As you're eating it, you don't even have to have to eat it. The smell of the basil comes up and you can smell. Oh, this is basil -y smell. You got the meat over here. This is really tender. And also the rice stick noodle. You got the saltiness from the premium fish sauce, the red boat fish sauce. You got the star anise flavor. You don't have to boil it for very long because you pulverize it or you're using a powdered form of it. Really, really true instant pho here. And then you got a generous portion of meat that you can eat and feel satisfied four ounces worth of it. Mm. So I did say in the video description that this thing costs about $2, right? The beef really costs about $1.25. The noodles cost about 50 cents, so we're at $1.75. And then you got, you know, part of a lime, that's probably like 10 cents or something. And then you got some basil, another 10 to 25 cents. So yeah, around $2 or so, depending on how you buy your items. If you buy them in bulk, if you find a really good deal on beef or whatnot. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This idea came to me because I really enjoy pho and I really, really want something that tastes like it at least at a much lower cost. And yet I'm too lazy to make my own pho, even though I have a video on how to make, you know, the full 
pho. You know, you boil it for like two hours and stuff. So hope you guys enjoyed this recipe. Don't forget to give me a like and subscribe for more.